Hey guys, Sean Z here. I have posted a video titled Best Way to Destroy an Engine Off because I just happened to have an awesome clip. In the comment section of the video, one of you, Jaden Anderson TV, shared that Burst is much more reliable than low percentage of affinity. I replied that Repeat can't activate Burst as much as I wanted to and test it out in another video. Repeat just can't activate Burst at all. Jaden then shared this pro tip. All you have to do is charge to level 4 at first shot. Then the next one should be at least level 3. Then Burst will come out. So you have another 4 seconds to charge again to whatever level you like just to maintain Burst. He also went on to say, once you've propped it, you can maintain it with any shot as long as the Burst buff is active. 4 seconds is enough time to shoot the enemy and prevent Burst from expiring. To be honest, I've never really considered adding Burst into my build because I mainly play with Rapid Bow. I thought about what Jaden shared and did some tests. So what exactly is Burst? According to the game, landing consecutive hits in a short span of time increases attack power by a percentage for 4 seconds. It provides 5% bonus attack power per level and 10% from level 4 to level 5. Kuluyaku Gloves provide level 1 crit eye. That is 10% chance to deal 25% extra damage. Effective bonus is only 2.5% compared to 10% from burst level 2 on Raytheon Gloves. When it is activated, a prompt will show up at the left side of the screen. Visually, there are also some red lines on the hunter's body. Burst requires you to be aggressive in your playstyle and keep the hits going. If you need to dodge, make sure to sneak in a level 1 shot just to maintain the buff. At the moment, I'm constrained both by technological aspect and intelligence, so I have no idea how to figure out how long this short span of time is exactly. You will have to deal 10 hits within this period of time to activate Burst. Once activated, the bonus is maintained when you keep the hits going and continuously reset this short span of time. Aside from the inability to figure out the short span of time, I did however test out attack power. Now people in Discord shared that if you see attack power in the description, it meant raw damage. If you see damage in the description, it means raw damage and elemental damage. So I ran a test to confirm this hypothesis. I used a water bow with 475 raw and 251 water attack and Black Diablo's bow of 576 raw. The water bow has lower raw, but higher overall attack. If the bonus damage from burst affects elemental attacks as well as raw attack, then the bonus from elemental bow should be higher since it is a percentage of the total value of 726 compared to the Black Diablo's bow of 576. Using the water bow, we can see that without burst, I do 316 damage on Toby Kadachi's tail. With Burst, I do 336 damage. That is a difference of 20 damage or about 6.3% actual bonus damage. Using Black Diablo's bow, the damage on Toby Kadachi's tail is 226 without Burst and 249 with Burst. That is a difference of 23 damage or 10.2% actual bonus damage. We can see from the results that the raw bow has a higher bonus damage, while elemental bow has a lower bonus percentage damage. It is because the total output from elemental bow is derived from raw plus elemental portion. I calculated the proportion of bonus damage against the raw portion of the bows. Extra 20 bonus damage based on 475 raw from water bow, that is about 4.2%. Compare this with extra 23 bonus damage based on 576 raw from Black Diablo's bow, that is about 4%. While it is not exactly the same value, we can safely conclude that burst affects only raw damage. There are two ways to activate burst while you're using Diablo's bow. The first way is to get to charge level 3 spread shot and power shot. If all arrows hit, you'll immediately activate burst. 
The other way is to go with charge level 4 rapid shot and power shot, followed by a level 1 tiny little baby shot. I have tested both ways and find that although it takes less steps to activate burst using spread, it takes more time and it does less damage before burst. Personally, I would prefer the second way. At least when I use charge level 4 rapid shot, I fire out the full level 4 damage followed by a level 1 shot. At 9 stars, every damage counts and it has been working well for me. If spread works well for you, please feel free to use it, okay? Okay, I'm sure you guys know this by now, but let's do a recap on focus. Focus skill lets you charge your bow faster. At level 3, it allows you to charge 15% faster. At level 4, 20% and at level 5, 30%. I tested out Focus 3 build for burst and it seems really troublesome to maintain burst. After every power shot, I'll have to add in a level 1 shot in order to maintain it. Focus 4 build works a little better and I would consider this the bare minimum. There are a couple of options for this build. We can go with Bouquet Helm and Chest, Jura Todas Boots for Focus 4, Radiant Gloves and Koi for Burst 3. Alternatively, if you like to see crit effects, go with Bouquet Helm, Retalos Koi and Jura Todas Boots for Focus 4, Radiant Gloves for Burst 2, and Rattalos Chest for Weakness Exploit 2. Lastly, if your bow's damage is below 2000, you can go with Bouquet Helm, Rattalos Koi, and Jura Todas Boots for Focus 4, Jagras Chest for Rising Tech 2, and Radiant Gloves for Burst 2. The Focus 4 builds allows you to maintain burst without having to add in a level 1 shot after activation. Focus 5 build uses Poké Helm and Chest, Rattalos Koi and Jurotodos Boots for Focus 5, and Raytons Gloves for Burst 2. In my opinion, this build works best for 9 star monsters, since the window to attack is so small. This build also allows you to maintain burst after activation and charge fast enough for 9 star monsters. If you are still at 8 stars or lower, you can use Focus 4 build since it provides you with more damage. To conclude this video, I was wrong to think that Burst is a useless skill for Rapid Bow. It just requires slightly more work to activate it. With enough practice, I'm sure we can maintain the buff throughout the hunt. If you guys liked this video, consider giving it a like and if you are new to my channel, I hope you can subscribe to join our little Shonzi gang. As usual, leave a comment if you want a discussion about anything under the sun. Discussion point for today. 
Would you give Burst a chance? If so, which build do you prefer? Focus 4 or Focus 5 build? I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.